Testing, testing, one, two. Okay, we're hot. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, very, very exciting video, as I'm pleased to announce that the Pico Neo 3 Link has had an upgrade, an update, very recently, we're going to talk about this exactly. What is the update that's occurred in there? How to do the installation? Because it's actually pretty easy, but perhaps some of you don't know. Is it time to start to put your quest aside now, your Oculus Quest 2, to purchase this guy that since it's had the update, or perhaps even the HP Reverb G2 or the HTC Vive Pro 2? Who knows? I'm going to take you through all the pros and cons since the new update as to what's the lowdown in there. But first, guys, do remember that we do have a competition running at the moment where you could win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station and also a voucher. Now, I do want to make it clear that we were supposed to do this giveaway upon hitting the 11,000 subscribers, which we have smashed so far. So guys, awesome for that. However, I'm still trying to get in touch with HP. They haven't replied to my Hmm. three or four emails so far to let them know that we have actually breached the 11,000 subscribers and that it's time to do the giveaway. So until they actually reply to me, guys, don't worry. They're probably just busy. I usually have a very good relationship with them. They usually reply quite fast. So it is very possible that the person in charge is away or there's something going on there as to why they can't reply to me right now. So don't worry, I'm sure everything will be okay. And as soon as they reply, of course, I will also do the giveaway with the cyber shoes and also the voucher all at the same time. So let's just hope that it happens within the next week or two. Now to do the update, it's very, very simple. Once you power on your headset and you're inside of your Pico Neo 3 Link, all you have to do is go to the settings and you'll see a little update button there where you can basically press it, which will lead you to a pop-up and then you can do the update online or offline, but of course, do it online, it's much better. And then it only takes a few minutes. Basically, it's just going to roll out its thing and then perhaps even restart the headset for you. And then once you're done with that, all you have to do is go on your software on the PC and then basically just click on the little icon. You'll see a little arrow after you've turned on your Pico Neo 3 software there. And then again, it's just going to take a few minutes maybe to do the actual update. Now, there seems to be a little bug for those who perhaps have a Norton antivirus or another antivirus software of some kind where you'll see that it's telling you that it's blocking something. Now, this something is actually a PNG file. So go ahead and press try again. If it doesn't work, just click on cancel installation and you'll see that once you've canceled actually what's happened is that most of the bulk of the update has actually been installed on your computer already. Only this, I think, PNG file or something hasn't been uploaded and everything will work just fine. So for those who are not familiar about the Pico Neo 3 Link, basically, similarly to a mobile phone, basically you'll have all your apps inside of the actual device. You don't need any other devices whatsoever to sample virtual reality. And believe me, this guy has a lot of really awesome VR titles, Whew, AAA titles even inside of here, which are really amazing and you'll really have an amazing time. However, for PC VR fans, you can also choose to do a couple things. First of all, you can plug in a cable, which is, which is called the 4K DB cable to your computer and sample all your favorite Steam VR games, which is where all the best titles in the world are held inside of this VR headset. And the biggest difference between a standalone experience and a PC VR experience are the graphics. Because in PC VR, of course, everything is powered by the PC and the GPU over there. So you're gonna have all these amazing special effects, fogs and fog and all this kind of stuff. It really renders virtual reality to another level completely compared to this. However, of course, it's not bad inside of this, just not as good as this. And of course, for those who want to sample PC VR, you can also stream wirelessly without, if I can take it off, no, I can't because it's screwed in, without the actual cable itself. So you can actually also 
B with this, with no cables of any kind, and stream completely wirelessly to the computer. So guys, one of the reasons why I'm so pumped about the new update inside of Pico Neo3 Link is because when I spoke to the devs team of Pico Interactive ByteDance, they talked to me, they told me that they would be changing how things look inside of the Pico Neo3 Link. And so they did. If you go to a previous video, you'll notice that, you know, as well as giving plenty of tips and tricks there, on the ones where I talk about, I used it more than 30 hours or 40 hours hours, I did say that the proportions inside of the game looked overblown. Now for someone who's never done VR before, perhaps you may not have noticed it, that's very possible, but as someone like yourself or myself who've been in VR for hundreds if not thousands of hours, well I've been in VR for almost three years now, that's a lot of hours, it was definitely very noticeable. Everything was overblown by 1.3x or 1.5x, it just looked weird, it's like as if you had this controller in your hand and it was just super, super huge, super, super big and your hand was like this big, it was just really huge, everything was just massive, it just looked freaking strange, what can I tell you? I'm happy to report that both on the wireless streaming to Steam VR and also using the 4K uncompressed resolution virtual reality to your PC, that's all gone. That's all gone. Compared to the HP Reverb G2, everything is the same now. It is absolutely amazing, especially when you're using the 4K uncompressed resolution to the VR headset. It just looks so crisp. It's amazing. The, 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 the screen door effect, that's virtually not there. It's just amazing. What can I tell you? It's just freaking, it blows my mind, guys. And now everything is good. When I was using the G923 wheel by Logitech in Automobilista 2, thank you Logitech, by the way, little plug there. It was just amazing because the wheels on the car, the steering wheel, everything is proportionate. Now I can play in a way where I don't crash every single minute. I can see the corners coming. I feel much more comfortable. When I'm inside of also Population 1, all the guns are actually proportionate. Nothing's overblown. I can see where I'm shooting. Everything, everyone looks great. It just gives me a really freaking peaceful and comfortable VR experience. And when I'm using the G7 Fury, by HP and I'm streaming wirelessly as well and I don't have all these issues with proportions, it just makes VR magical. What can I tell you? It is mwah, mwah, mwah. Just magical, magical, magic, magic, magicales. I don't know how you say it in Spanish, but it's magical guys, absolutely amazing. Would I replace it with the HP Reverb G2? Not gonna tell you now. Would I replace it with the Quest 2? Probably, without a doubt. Would I replace it with another VR headset? I don't know, I don't have other VR headsets on the channel right now. Now, the other thing that they've done, and guys, I don't know why that is. There is an issue, there is an issue. Even though the tracking with the actual VR headset and the controllers are amazing, there's no issue whatsoever, it was all good. There is an issue, there is an issue. Let me demonstrate. Basically, what's happened now is due to the new update, now when you're in VR normally, when you take an, you grab an object, your brain knows exactly where this object is. It knows where your hand is in relation to the virtual reality space, exactly the same as the real world. That means that where your hand is positioned and the controller's position is the same in the real world. So your brain, there is no disconnect whatsoever. It is the same. With the Pico Neo 3 Link, however, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. There is a bit of an issue where basically, let me demonstrate, instead of picking your, your object, this is the controller that they track inside of VR. Instead of it being here, it is slightly here. So basically you, you're grabbing here, you're not grabbing in the center of the object anymore because basically there is a little, a little bit, a little bit, tiny little bit, a little issue here basically, it's about 2%, if not 3% there. So you, your, center is, your center is on the side and not in the middle. The center is not here to grab the object, it is on the side of the controller, which means you think you're grabbing here, you don't think you're grabbing here. Now, if you've never done VR before, Probably a very, very small issue, probably not something you would recognize, to be honest with you. But as someone, as someone like you or myself, who've been in VR for hundreds, if not thousands of hours over the last two, three years, it is freaking frustrating to have this thing. Oh, man. Woo! Very frustrating to have this thing. It is very, very minute. Very, very minute. Only 2%. 
Only 2% or 3% is so small, but it's so noticeable. The brain, my brain's going like, what's going on? When I'm trying to pick things up, especially in synth riders, these big balls are here, they're not here, they're not where they're supposed to be in the real world. My hand in the real world is here, but, but the controller thinks it's there, which is bloody annoying. It's basically got not tracked exactly at the same space of the real world inside a virtual reality it is tracking slightly to the side which is really annoying but let's talk about the good stuff first of all the controllers inside of steam vr now or whenever you're waiting look like the pico neo 3 link controllers which is very good because they used to look like the quest should I change the Quest 2 for this headset if I had bought it? Because obviously we never bought any Meta headsets. Yes, I would definitely change it for this because we don't need the thrills of Meta. We all know that Meta invent things to take all your... They know everything about you. Pico just want to do things for joy so you can actually enjoy VR. That's all. Not Meta. Meta doesn't do that. So yes, definitely time to change to, to something like this if you have the Quest 2 for sure. For the G2, still not yet. Nah, wait for it until the end of the video. Now, the other thing that they've done that's really, really good is, and I tested it a lot with the G7 Fury by HP on this beautiful laptop, is the latency when you're streaming wirelessly to the desktop. Now, do remember, guys, you don't need a desktop or computer or laptop or whatever to power the Pico Neo 3 Link because you have the apps inside. However, before, I was only able to stream at 72 hertz minimum setting because if I was at 90 frames per second, 90 hertz, and also in HD, this is what would happen. Let's just imagine they're the same hand. In the real world, I go down. In VR, it goes up. So it was basically like this, especially when I was away from the router. It was very slow. I had a lot of issues. The latency was just so slow. I had to basically do it at 72 frames per second at the minimum setting. Guys, I'm happy to report that. Now, I can stream at 90 hertz per second at HD, and it's like this. It's perfect. There is no loss of tracking. The headset knows where it is. There's no issue whatsoever. Everything is super, super cool, super, super good. Everything's working great. But I do have to be near the router, guys. At least two, three, four, five, six meters away from the router in the same room. If I'm seven, eight, nine, ten meters away with a wall in between and the door locked in between, it still doesn't work that great. Still a lot of latency, still not fantastic. I have to be near the router. And don't forget that you do need a, uh, an Ethernet cable. Do not use wireless or it's gonna be even worse. Cat 4 or above, I, I believe. Whatever cat, the highest one, the, the better. So that at least in future proof, you don't have to change your cables again. Especially if you're one of those guys who puts their wires everywhere in your house and it's not easy to remove them in the future. Get the highest cat. Just do yourself that favor. Get the highest cat. I have cat seven. I don't need it, but there you go. So those are the latest improvements in the update of the Pico Neo 3 Link, guys. Absolutely amazing. Really, really happy. Just Pico, please fix this thing where when I grab, it is the same in the real world and I'm not grabbing slightly to the side because that is freaking annoying. Ah, uh, almost got it perfect, guys, but I can definitely recommend the, the Pico Neo 3 Link now. Definitely recommend it to buy it. Do remember that the Pico Neo 3 Link, however, is not 100% compatible with 100% of the games in Steam VR. They still need to contact a lot of the developers to make those games, uh, you know, compatible, do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I will be doing a more videos telling you about the various different apps that are not compatible. And also inside of Google Earth now, by the way, there is also an update there where if you go close to a certain point, it warps, it basically becomes bigger, you can see it. And when you go further away, it becomes smaller. You definitely see this little point of change it wasn't there before. Before it was very smooth all the way now. There's this little point where shoom or shoom, shoom, shoom. It's very weird, very strange. You do have to put human scale for it to not occur anymore. I thought it was a Pico Neo 3 Link issue, but it is not. It is definitely a Google Earth issue. Do go into Google Earth. You'll see exactly what I mean when you go near a building. But guys, the fact that everything is proportionate now, even in Google Earth, everything is super proportionate. All the buildings are proportionate. Everything looks great. The controllers look great. Everything, oh man, mwah, mwah, mwah. it just looks fantastic, guys. Very happy. All right, have an amazing Sunday, an amazing week ahead. I'll see you in this video here, the one that's basically there, as well as in the comments below, replying and chatting with you guys, and in another video very soon. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye for now.